Hello, so in this video we're going to continue using our UV unwrapping tools to UV unwrap our treasure chest. This will be our last video for UV unwrapping. I wanted to keep this video short, so it will be about 15 minutes. So we continue where we left off last time, we're UV unwrapping the top part. And this time, one more thing I'm going to do, I'm going to select these edges. I'm going to open the UV editor, and I'm going to cut UV edges. So now if we select that face, go into UV mode, go to go into shell, and I'm going to scale that. So now what you can see we have two separate parts and the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going that's going to make it a lot more easier for us to texture this later. It would be easier to have two separate, part, separate parts so that we can texture this later. And I think I'm going to do the same thing for the side so that we can have separate parts. The main reason is because I'm going to use a wood texture. So we just want to make sure that it, it makes it a lot easier for us to texture that. And I'm going to polygons, cut UV edges. I'm going to select that face, control and right click. Go to shell and scale that down. Actually, we can just move that down a bit. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. This is not required, but you can certainly do it just to make the texturing process easier for yourself. So I noticed that I have an extra part here, so I probably forgot to do the UVs for that area. And as I can see, it's that bottom part, so I'm going to select those faces. And I'm just going to apply a planar mapping. And there we have it, we are... So at this point, it looks like we are actually done with the top part. So I'm going to select everything and I'm going to layout and click on the options box. Make sure you set the, the, the settings this way. And I'm going to pack everything. So now you can see that our pixel density for the whole object looks about the same. And I'm going to delete history for that object. So now we're going to work on the bottom part. And this one's going to be a lot easier, it's mainly going to be some planar mapping. So as we can see it looks horribly the way it is right now. So let's go ahead and fix that. Let's go into face mode and select. I'm going to grow the selection. And make sure to have the whole side selected. And we're going to apply a planar mapping. Open the UV editor. And let's go ahead and do the other areas as well, just to make this easier on us. Apply a planar mapping, just move that to the side. And let's go ahead and continue and do the remaining. Apply a planar mapping. And let's go ahead and do that with the, the remaining side. A planar mapping and move that to the side. I'm going to do the bottom part as well.
And this is a really straightforward process where you can see we're going doing absolutely the same thing with all the sites. We're going to be applying planar mappings to them. And after this video, we, I will have another video which will show you how to texture it. And there will be a final video which will be about lighting. And I'm going to select some of the edges here. Let's go ahead and do that for the other side as well. Let's do that for all the sides, just to make it easier on us. And I'm going to do a, I'm going to cut the UVs for that particular side. I'm going to cut the UVs for those edges just so that we can have those faces as separate just to make it easier for the texture process. So let's go ahead and go to polygons and cut UV edges. I'll select that face. And I'll go into UV mode and just scale that down. And I'll do the same with the other face as well. And I'm going to select the same edges, go to UV mode. This time I'm going to unselect some of the inner faces for that face by holding down control and I'm going to scale this down just because I knew I had some overlapping there. And we're going to do the same thing with the other one and eventually with everything else as well. And I'm going to pack everything by going and using that layout. And I probably should have done that before I decided to cut everything just so that we can have everything packed better. But since I already did that, I'll just do 
I'll just work with what I have here. And I'm going to continue and select a few edges here. I'm going to UV mode. I'm going to deselect this area. And I'm going to scale this area down. Again, the reason I'm doing this is because I was having some overlapping that I didn't really want to have because it's creating some distortion in my UV grid. There's going to be some distortion in the texture unless I fix this. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And I believe that was the last one that we needed to do. And I just noticed that I have a face here that I forgot to UV, it looks like. We, we can tell because there's a lot of distortion on it. So I'm just going to select it and do a planar mapping. And obviously I have to scale that down. And for last thing we're going to do is we're going to UV unwrap this little guy. And it's going to be relatively easy. We're going to select that edge face loop and we're going to apply a planar mapping like this. And we're going to do the same thing with the other side. And finally, that remaining faces. And for these faces, we're going to use a cylindrical mapping. I'm going to click on the T, click here, and rotate it about 90 degrees. And I'm going to do the last area. A cylindrical mapping. I'm going to click on the little T here and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And we should be good to go. Let's check it out. Let's actually enable the texture here so we can see it. So apply a Lambert, actually the existing material that we already have. And I can see that we have some some overlapping. I'm going to click here and I'm going to use the unfold for this one. I'm going to click here, the object, and click here, and I'm going to drag where it says unfold. Just so that I can fix that overlapping issue. And for this face, I'm not going to use unfold, I'm just going to select the UVs and I'm going to move those. OK, 
okay and finally I'm going to select everything and I'm going to apply a layout just so everything is in one place and in the end I'm just going to group everything so that this the UVs for this object are included with our treasure treasure chest I'm going to scale this down and I'm going to include them and I'm only going to UV one side of this of the handles because you can always duplicate this handle and it's going to keep the UVs the UVs are going to be overlapping in that case and we're coming to a close in this video and in the next video we're going to show you how to actually texture the model using Adobe Photoshop So in the next video I'm going to show you how to texture it and there's going to be a last video which is going to be how to do some basic lighting.